Hey everybody, it's time to make some pickle relish. So have you ever made pickle relish? Have you ever made pickles? Well, the question is, do you have a lot of cucumbers like this that you need to get rid of? Well, the best way to use those up is to make yourself some pickles. And it's really not that hard. If I can do it, you can do it. So tonight what we're gonna make is some sweet pickle relish. And I'm gonna start off um, by showing you what we need. So first of all, you're gonna need some jars. And you're gonna need a hot bath, hot water bath canner, which I have here. You can see that. I've got my jars in some water. It's getting ready to boil. And I'm gonna sterilize those jars for about 10 minutes in my hot water bath canner. And then when I take them out, I will fill the jars while they're hot, um, you know, to put the, the relish inside them. So you'll need a hot water bath canner. You'll need some jars and lids and rings. The next things you will need are, for this recipe, hold on, I'm going to try to show you as I go along. You're going to need, ta-da, cucumbers. And my friend Steve grew these up on Sand Mountain. You know, Deb and I have told you about Sand Mountain and what good produce they grow in that sandy soil. So these cucumbers are Sand Mountain cucumbers, so I can tell you they're gonna be good. You're gonna need celery salt. Nope, celery seed. You're gonna need mustard seed. You're gonna need a little ground turmeric, or turmeric, however you say that. You're gonna need some pickling and canning salt. That's what that is. You're gonna need apple cider vinegar. This is just the store brand. I'm gonna put some red peppers in mine. You're gonna need sugar, because this is sweet pickle relish. You're gonna need some onions, and these are Vidalia sweet onions that I use. And I think that is it, you guys. I'm also gonna put in some green peppers. You hear my cat? He thinks he's gonna get something to eat. So I've got some green peppers cut up in here that I'm gonna put green and red peppers in my sweet pickle relish. So I'll be right back to get started. Okay, you guys, I've got my cucumbers ready to chop. And what we wanna do, this recipe calls for eight to 10 uh, medium-sized cucumbers. But you know me, if I'm gonna mess up my kitchen, I'm gonna make it worth my while. So I'm doubling this recipe. So I'm gonna start with these eight cucumbers. I'm gonna cut them in half like this. And then I'm gonna scoop out the insides just with a spoon. This can be messy. I'm just gonna scoop out the seeds. So then that's gonna leave me with a little cucumber boat. You see that? All right, so that's what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all my cucumbers like this, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm finishing up scooping the seeds out of these cucumbers. You don't wanna have any seeds in your relish. So we're gonna scoop all these out. And I forgot to tell y'all a while ago, but um, everybody needs one of these. Now back on the farm, you would call this your slop bucket. I use it for scraps or for whatever. When I'm canning, I especially use it for my scraps. Um, put them all in there and then in the morning, I'll take them out to the back of the house and we've got some bunnies that live back in the rough behind our house. And uh, they're gonna get some cucumber scraps. I don't know if bunnies like cucumber scraps, but we're gonna try it and see. They're out there all the time looking for something good to eat. And our neighbor that used to live next door, um, she used to put up food for them. And they moved away, and I've noticed that the bunnies aren't coming around as much. I think they finally figured out she's gone. So I'm gonna give them some cucumber scraps. All right, so you see I have all of these hold out. So what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm not crazy. I don't wanna have to chop these all by hand 
because that'll take a little while. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you and then I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna cut them up like this, like that. And then I'm going to put them in my food processor and just give them a couple of good um, pops with the food processor and get them to the right size that I want. I don't wanna pulverize them or anything, but I just wanna chop them. So I'm gonna put those in my nice Tupperware bowl that I don't use for scraps. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I will come back when we get them all chopped. Okay guys, I thought I would give you an example of the size that I'm chopping these with my food processor. Can y'all see that? It's not real fine, but then it's not real coarse either. So let me just show you real quick what I'm doing. I'm my food processor up. And y'all, for me to get this food processor out, it's a rare occasion. And do you know why? I'll tell you why. Because I hate to clean this thing. I hate to clean this thing. It's a pain. But it should be easy when you're doing something like this. And I'm being careful not to get it too fine. I think that's even better than last time. So you can see that. All right, I'm gonna finish chopping these and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I've got my cucumbers all chopped. Now it's time to chop the onions. And this recipe calls for five medium-sized onions. I have a couple of large ones and I have some medium-sized ones. And like I said, I am doubling the recipe. So what I'm gonna put in there, hold on, I tell you. I'm gonna chop these up just like I did the cucumbers and I'm gonna put them in the food processor because hey, it's already dirty. So I've got three medium onions and four large onions. And remember, I'm doubling my recipe. Of course, I will give you the exact recipe. Here's the big one. Ooh, that's a big one. These are Vidalia onions, so they're a sweet onion. All right, so I'm gonna chop these up and I'll be right back. Y'all, I'm gonna chop up some red bell peppers and some green bell peppers to go in the mix. Okay, you guys, I've got all of the vegetables chopped. So now, got to show you this yummy goodness. So I've got green peppers, I've got red peppers, I've got cucumbers and onions, and my goodness, it smells so good. And there's just enough red peppers in there to give it just a really, really pretty color. And when we get these all done and we have them in our jars, they're gonna look so pretty. Remember what Deb says, you eat with your eyes first. So it does matter how they look. Oh, this looks so good and smells good. My whole house smells like onions and peppers and cucumbers. All right, so there you go. I've mixed it, not all that well, but it doesn't matter because what I'm about to do now is, remember I'm doubling the recipe. So the recipe calls for a half a cup of the canning salt or pickling salt, but I'm doubling it, so I'm adding a cup. That's a lot of salt. All right, I'm gonna stir it in. Stir it in. Still smells good. It's making me hungry for some pico de gallo. I don't, I don't say that right. 
Pico de Gallo or however you say it. Love that stuff. You know what I'm talking about? At the Mexican restaurant. They serve it with your fajitas. All right, now I'm going to use, and I probably will have to just take this to the sink. I'm going to pour in water, just enough to cover the vegetables. So let me go over to the sink and do that. There you go. So I've got water covering my veggies and my salt. So now we're gonna let this sit for two hours. So two hours, this will sit. And while that's happening, I'm going to be mixing up my sweet pickle sauce or juice or whatever you wanna call it. Be right back. Okay, you guys. Um, our vegetables have been sitting for almost two hours, but I'm gonna go ahead and make this, what do you call it, juice? <laughs> juice for the pickles. So what we're gonna start with is, and remember I doubled this recipe, so I'm gonna need six cups of sugar. That's a lot of sugar, I know. So here's two cups. Here is four cups, and six cups of granulated sugar. Now we're going to have four cups, or 32 ounces, of apple cider vinegar. Kitty. All right, I'm going to stir this up. And what we're going to do is bring this to a bowl. Ooh, -hoo. that vinegar. Oh my goodness. It's smelly, but it's going to be good. I don't like vinegar by itself, but when you mix anything with a lot of sugar, it's going to be good, right? So stirring this up, I'm gonna let this come to a bowl and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, this is boiling up the storm. The sugar is dissolved. So now we're gonna go ahead and add some spices. So we've got two tablespoons of mustard seed. You know, I can't help but think about the Bible verse that talks about faith the size of a mustard seed. They're so tiny, you guys. So tiny. You see that? You can't even see it. Can you see it? Faith, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. Did you know that? Okay, so I stirred the mustard seeds in. Now I'm going to need four teaspoons of celery seed. Okay, so here's three teaspoons in this tablespoon. And more, plus one. It's a plus one. Boom. Oh look, the celery seed smells. It smells so good. Stir that up. Right. Last but not least, two teaspoons of ground turmeric. I can never say that right. So two teaspoons. So here's one. Gonna give this kind of a yellowy, orangey look. Alright, so 
those are in there. I'm going to reduce the heat for a minute. Put the lid on, I think, while I rinse my vegetables. And what I've got is a colander over here in the sink. Move, kitty. Thank you. Got a colander, and I'm going to just pour some of this in my colander. Ooh. Goodness gracious, it's going to take two or three trips. And I'm going to just run water over that and get it rinsed really good. You want to get all that salt, or most of the salt, not all. So while I do that, stay tuned. Okay guys, I've got my veggies rinsed. Aren't they beautiful? I wish y'all could smell them. They smell so good. Now, what we're gonna do next is add them to our mixture. Carefully add them to our mixture over here. I think the best way for me to do this is with this two cup measuring hickey doocher. Measuring cup. That's what it is, it's not a hickey doocher. So you see I'm putting it in there. It's still got a little bit of liquid left in there, but I think that's probably just the water. I'm gonna stir it as I go. I think I'm gonna run this through the colander one more time. I've got this colander over here in this sink. I just want most of that water out if I can get it out. So I'm just going to do it like this. I feel like it's good and out. There we go. Now the veggies have some water in them, natural, you know, they're natural water. Camera was it turned, but I just put the rest of that in there and I'm going to stir it up good. I'm going to bring it back to a bowl. Bring it to a bowl, and once it starts boiling, I'm going to reduce it to a simmer. Isn't that pretty, y'all? Once it starts boiling, I'll reduce it to a simmer, and I'm gonna let it simmer for about 10 minutes on a low simmer. And then we're almost done, Woohoo! See you soon. Okay, guys and gals. So, our relish is ready to put in the jars. So, I don't know if you guys have ever done any hot water bath canning or not, um, but if you haven't, don't be afraid to, because it's really not hard at all. It's, um, it's really an easy process. It's just a matter of knowing what to do. So, um, I have had these jars in this hot water. I'm sterilizing these jars. Your jars need to be hot when you um, put your hot product in them, um, because you don't want to shock your jars. So they're gonna be hot when we load them up with this relish here. So um, I wanted you to see this part of me getting them out of, here, let me show you. I need a camera woman. My camera woman's at home tonight. Y'all, it's after midnight. So 
here I am making pickles. You know what? You just gotta do what you gotta do, right? Gotta do what you gotta do. Produce does not wait on you to have an opportune time. You've got to fix it while it's fresh and good. You can't dilly-dally around. Now, I've got some different size jars in here. I've got some um, pint jars, but I've also got some half pint jars. Every time I hear half pint, I think about Little House on the Prairie, because that's what Michael Landon called. Um, well, what was her name? The middle girl, Laura. These are fun to get out here, too, y'all. They're hot. Hot, hot, hot. Now, over here in a saucepan, I have got... Yeah. I've got the lids to the jars in a little saucepan boiling bringing it to a bowl to get those uh, jar lids good and soft. That way when, when you put them on top of, they have a little rubber ring around the top of them that seals them. And when you put them on top of your jar, when you've got your stuff all in there, then it'll kind of sit on there really good and make a seal. Um, so it's over here boiling. So we'll have those. I've got my handy dandy funnel. You need one of these. I've done it without them. It ain't no fun. Trust me. You also need a clean dishcloth. So this one's clean. I just got it out of the drawer. I'm not using the one I've been wiping my countertops off with. You want a clean dishcloth. And what you're going to do is after you load these jars, you're going to clean around the edge of those lids of, of those tops because you don't want any of the product to be up there around the lid. Let me turn this down here. I've also got a slotted spoon because I don't want way too much liquid in each um, dish. Does that make sense? Not dish. Jar. I don't want too much liquid. So we're going to go ahead and load the first one. I hope y'all can see me. It's been simmering. It smells yummy. I'm not taking a bite, but I know it's going to be good. I just know it is. All right. So here we go. First one. Woohoo! And this is a lot of relish. All right. I'm wondering if I even need this big slot this way. Let me use this because I do like a lot of juice in mine. I like the juice. And it's really good with um, my pinto beans. You wanna eat it with pinto beans? Now, I have got, I use a knife to do this. You can, you can buy these little handy dandy things to do it with, but I just use a knife, butter knife. So what you wanna do is run it down in there and try to get as much of the air out as you can. All right. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and run my little dishcloth around the top of that. Okay. Here's another little thing. I didn't have one of these for the longest time, but do you see that? It's got a little magnet on the end of it. And what it does is it will pick up your jar lids out of your water. Isn't that cool? I'm going to go ahead and put that jar lid on there. Put it down really tight. Some people don't even use these rings. And then other people use the rings, but then take them off once the jar is sealed. You can do either way. But there you go. Pretty, pretty. Now I'm gonna take it, put it 
back in our hot water bath. And I'm gonna do this to every jar. Let's fill up one of these small ones, just for fun and kicks. Yes, please. This funnel is a lifesaver. I remember how I used to try to not make a big mess using not a funnel, without using a funnel, and it never worked out. I always made a big mess, always. They're hot, hot, hot. And voila. That's all you do besides the hot water bath. I'll come back and show you how to do that. Okay, y'all. This relish is done. And I want you to look at my watch. Well, you probably can't see it. It's 12.45 after midnight. But that's okay, because it's worth it. I'm telling you. This is some um, the leftover relish that I'm gonna put in my refrigerator to eat, you know, now. So um, I didn't have any more room in my hot water bath canner, so I thought I'll just keep some in the refrigerator and eat on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and sample it for you guys. And uh, trust me, I've already sampled it. It is delicious. It's so good. You are gonna love this recipe. I've made it several times. Not this exact recipe, but I think this is a better recipe than I've ever used. But it's so good. So, I wanted to show you. The hot water bath is done. I'm turning off the eye. And it's important to remember that this pan is hot. So, I'm using a little pot holder. The ideal thing is to let this cool off before you take them out. Not really cool off, but just stop boiling. At least stop boiling. But anyway, I want to go ahead and show you what I do next. So it has processed for at least 10 minutes, maybe a little bit more. But now all I'm gonna do is use my handy dandy jar grabber, pull them out of that water, and I've got a clean dish towel over here. And I'm just gonna put them on the dish towel. Now, one of my favorite things about canning, pickles or salsa or any of that stuff, is when you are finished and your jars are sitting out and they're cooling down you'll start hearing these little ping ping pings and what that ping means is that that jar is sealed and it's going to be safe for you to keep on your shelf for 12 to 18 months and open it and it'll taste as fresh as the day you made it now, if you don't hear that ping, and if your jar does not seal, you can tell by pushing down on the jar lid and it will give way and it'll like that. So if it does that, then you just need to put it in your refrigerator and eat it like I'm gonna do that jar I showed you. And um, you can eat it within uh, three weeks, probably three to four weeks. Hi, kitty. Kitty's like, why are you not in bed? He still thinks he's gonna get something in. Oh, did you hear that ping? It's already pinging. What in the world? Okay, here's my last jar. Y'all, woohoo! I'm gonna show you how many jars I got out of that. Look at that, y'all. Oh, oh, ping. So I have six pint jars and six half pint jars. That's pretty good. Ping. <laughs> okay, guys. So um, <clears throat> some things that are nice to have, you don't have to have. 
<clears throat> these specific things. But these have really upped my canning game. So I love these colanders. They're from Pampered Chef. They come in a set of three sizes. This is the large one. I just used that. You saw me use it. Another thing is you gotta have one of these. You don't got to, but you need to. One of these little funnels to put the food in your jars. These are nice to have. You don't have to have one, but they're nice to have. They only cost like a dollar or something. And then last but not least, these two big bowls from Tupperware. These are giant serving bowls. And um, John and Mama, if y'all follow them and watch them, John and Mama sell Tupperware. Hook them up, tell them you want a couple of these big bowls, and I'm sure they can get you some. But before I close this up, I'm going to eat one more bite. Mm -hmm. It's good. So, I cleaned my kitchen while I was waiting for the hot water bath to be done. So now I'm ready to go to bed. And in the morning, I'll put away my relish. And you know, that one of the greatest things about canning is there's no way Tink and I can eat all that relish. I mean, we might do good to eat three or four jars over the next year. But what I love to do is give it away. I love to give people things that I've home canned. I wish I had a farm and I would home grow it and then can it, but I don't. I have to depend on people like my friend Steve to give me vegetables from their garden. So, but it's nice to be able to gift somebody with something that you've made. Ping. So, <clears throat> y'all tried if you haven't ever made sweet pickle relish. Here's your recipe. It's going to be in the comments. Try it. You will love it. Bye, y'all.